kill you! Ah, so good! God damn! <laughs> Ugh, that's enough. Now my clothes are all dirty. Wait, you're done? That was so quick! Untouchable as I am, I don't get that much of a kick out of fighting. Had enough time to lick your wounds? <laughs> you know androids don't run out of energy like that. I swear, you're the naggiest sibling in the world. They're putting up a much better fight now. Must have really got their head back in the game. Maybe from watching me against 18. Gotta say, Goku, you're as impressive a martial artist as the doctor said. That, and you're not nearly as annoying as that hothead, Vegeta. You kept your cool throughout that whole fight with 18, too. Making an android with unlimited energy sweat is quite an accomplishment. I've never had more fun. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero! We're gonna fight my twin, goddamn. Oh! And look, I ain't played the game in like a week and a half. I didn't forget all the controls again. Where's he at? Make sure we charge up. Kick his ass. Here and now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What? I'm not done yet. We're running out of goddamn key is rough. Come on. Right here and now, play. Yeah. I ain't think I was gonna hit that. And Android 18, you is ass, bro. Yeah. Damn. I thought you was gonna be the chosen one. Yeah. You the ass one. Hold on, let me look at the battle detail. God damn, little brother. God damn, my boy. Yo, hey, yo, boys online is crazy on this shit. Oh, I missed the angry one. He just he just stood there. This will shut you up. Ha ha ha! You Hit, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh. I tried to do that. The angry Kamehameha. Damn, get your ass whooped. Only let my guard down for a second. But you're something else. You found out the hard way. I'll be, hey, look, I'll beat it, bitch. Huh? You know what I mean? Bro. Y'all understand. The backup wig has been purchased. It's sitting over there because this is falling apart already. I need to hurry up and beat this goddamn game. We got a backup for when this breaks down. Realize he can't defeat Goku. Android 17 lowers his guard. However, his expression seems somewhat pleased. Android 17, who has searched for Goku as if it were a game, feels like he has enough, uh, he has had enough fun with the fight. Think I'm a little burnt out on all the fighting today. Let's get out of here. 
Those are Android 17's words to Android 16 and 18. Android 16's gaze remained displeased as he stares at Goku. You want some too? Bitch, I'll whoop your ass too. What's the deal? We going or what? <laughs> what? 16. What got into you all of a sudden? You look pissed. My mission is to kill Goku, and I intend to accomplish it. Dude, chill. I will end your existence, for it is the only purpose of my existence. Everyone and everything else is secondary. <clears throat> then it's now or never. Oh, shit. Awesome! I gotta make sure I check, pay attention to the battle details. Why that shit lag? Share your energy with me. What's up with the lag? Should have lag with him. Useless. I'm not done yet. Share your energy with me. Make sure that's with one of them big ass bombs. Enough. Take this! See, he's a little more patient than I'm used to. I ain't gonna lie. Disengaging limiter. I must use my last resort. Oh my god, what? 17 and 18. Farewell. What? What? He did 9,999 damage. He did all that goddamn damage. I can read your movement. That's a cheap bastard. Man, he blocked it. He blocked it. Share your energy with me. Bastard. Right, he just standing there just taking all of that shit. I'm not done yet. Share your energy with me. Disengaging limiter. I don't think we wanted that. All right, come on. I can Bro, this dude. Enough. Let me do my shit. You a hater, bro. Get ready to come. That's not the one I wanted to do. Get ready to see my real stuff. Share your energy with me. He's gonna he's gonna move. Spirit bomb. Done. That man 
took a spare bomb to the face. Search system activated. Take this! He's annoying. Don't move out the way. Just sit there. Get hit with a spirit bomb. Please. I'm trying to end this goddamn match. Bad enough I got to relearn all the buttons and shit. You little bitch. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's finish them off. Enough. Share your energy with me. I didn't finish him. Okay. I just knew it would. Why he do that move again? Down to this. That was a really sloppy fight. <laughs> Don't you dare, Sixteen. I'm not letting you blow yourself up. <sighs> Don't tell me. You have a self destruct device inside of you as well? I... I told you both before. My sole mission is to kill Goku at any cost. Then why haven't you already? You could wipe this entire island off the map with that explosion. Hmm. That's enough! You can't beat me in the state you're in now. Hmm. And besides, you don't really seem like a bad guy. Even if you're technically a robot, I could feel your intent to kill. But if it really is your mission, why didn't you go for it during the fight with Cell? Instead, you chose to defend your fellow androids, which means... It's simple. There is much wildlife living all around this island. I did not want to obstruct nature with the fallout of our battles. But hear me, Goku. One day, I will fulfill my purpose. You took care not to harm any innocent life, animal nor human. I believe you are both good people. I have enjoyed traveling together. Well, who says we can't still keep doing it? Then you know what? Let's have our first stop by the mall. I'm in desperate need of some new, less filthy clothes. <laughs> It looks like the battle is over. Yep. Goku! Where's Cell? And the androids! 
and, uh, uh, 18. You, uh, you didn't defeat them all already, did you? Well, I think they'll be back. Huh? <laughs> In the wake of Cell's defeat, the three androids depart. Peace is once again restored, thanks to Goku and his friends. Someday, these powerful artificial humans may show their faces again. But when they do, will they be friend or foe? Whatever the outcome, Goku is sure to be stronger than ever and ready to defend the world. Here we go. Chapter clear. Now, okay, so is that the end of, of his saga? It kind of seems like it. We go to the next one. Let's look at the story map one more time and make sure we didn't miss anything. I know they have the what if scenarios, but I'm not playing through all of those on here. There's no other um, alternate timelines except for this. No, we did this. Yep, I think that's it. Let's imagine there's three chapters per person. Ooh. Wanna go Goku Black? Let's do Goku Black. Oh, we can still Vegeta. Let's do Vegeta. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go already. After losing to Goku on Earth, Vegeta makes his way to planet Namek in hopes of using their Dragon Balls to become immortal. However, Vegeta is followed by Kui has been ordered by Frieza to kill him. It's not long before Kui makes his presence known. Vegeta's fighting experience on Earth has raised his power level beyond that of Kui. Kui it's Kui, right? Fuck it. Kui pretends to offer an alliance to Vegeta, but in reality, he's trying to get Vegeta to lower his guard. <laughs> That's what you get! You look like a goddamn fish. I can't believe you actually fell for that old gag. Fat lot of good all that power did at the moment of truth, huh? Really? So that's what it is then? I have to say, even for you, that was a pretty dismal move. No, no, it can't be! If there were any brains in that head of yours, you'd have realized my speed has increased as well. Which means, unfortunately for you, that little ruse only succeeded in pissing me off! I wish your moves. The explosion! Boost. Oh god, I love the Galaga. Okay. See, I need to learn how to do the follow attacks up after you do the uh, charge, the heavies. Little. Move. Hope you enjoyed yourself. 
That didn't last long at all. The strongest fighter in the kill you! God damn! I'm afraid you're fired. Something like you know, something little. You know what I mean? Go warm up. Beat the bitch up, beat the bitch the fuck up, you know? If what I heard over the scouter is to be believed, all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish. I only need to find one to prevent Frieza from being able to use them. Those Earthling stooges will find the other six for me. Then I'll take them all. Once I get that wish, not only will I be granted eternal life, but no one, not even Frieza himself, will be able to stand in my way. I'll be uncontested, utterly invincible. I, Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans, will rule the universe! As Vegeta searches for the Dragon Balls, he locates Dodoria, whom he then challenges and swiftly defeats. Based on Dodoria's words, Vegeta suspects that there are humans on planet Namek. Though he tries to track them down, he ultimately isn't able to find them. Abandoning his search, he departs for a, Nam a Namekian village to obtain a Dragon Ball. After attacking the Namekian village and attaining the four-star Dragon Ball, Vegeta hides his underwater and goes in search for the remaining Dragon Ball. Vegeta appears before Zarbin, who is also on the hunt for the Dragon Ball. He informs him that he has defeated Dodoria and that he will be next. Vegeta, you cur. Why would you dare defy Frieza? Isn't it obvious? I hate the bastard, always have. And now that there's a chance not to just seize eternal life, but to wrench free of his control at the same time. Well, the real question is, why in my right mind wouldn't I turn against him? Starting to get the picture, pretty boy? You're seeking to use the Dragon Balls for yourself. Oh, that's how he sounds. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on them. And once I'm given immortality, Frieza is as good as dead. This joke of an empire is finished. Certainly even someone as thick as you knows it'll take more than immortality to conquer Frieza. Enough talk. You've never had a real taste of Saiyan power. So here, eat up. Oh, Frieza. Oh. oh, you hear this dude? What's wrong with your man? Your progress intrigues me. Enough so that I feel it's only courtesy to show you the full extent of my own power. Something I've let Damn it, I for many years. Such a sense of Oh, that's what that was. You well know before you breathe your last breath. There's a very good reason I keep my full powers hidden. You see, exploiting them calls for a drastic transformation. Quite a distasteful one, in fact. Hideous, even. Naturally, I'm somewhat reluctant to sacrifice my looks. But when my hand has been forced, what choice is there? How's this dude talking to me when I'm beating the shit out of you? Eager, aren't we? Very well. Don't say you weren't warned. <laughs> Weak ass bitch. <laughs> That, that's not good. I didn't lose it. Hold on, man. Get this out of here. Vegeta is unable to defeat the transformed Zarbin and takes the first opportunity to escape. 
He also steals the Dragon Ball as Frieza has gathered before chasing after Krillin to take the final Dragon Ball from him. Vegeta is soon found by Zarbin, who had been following him. The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate us! But after coming back from the verge of death, Vegeta's power level has ridden enough to win. When he senses the dangerous Ginyu force approaching, Vegeta offers to cooperate with Krillin to prevent Frieza from using the Dragon Ball. But before they can use them, the Ginyu force catch up to them and seize the Dragon Ball. After catching Golda off guard and managing to beat him, there are only four of the elite forces left. Vegeta shivers in anticipation of the battle. Okie dokie, Vegeta. I hope you're ready, cause now you're gonna get it. We are... The Ginyu Force! Raccoon! Ha! Ah! Can't even let him finish. Can't even let him finish. He just socked me. Far from done! Hi! Alrighty, the kid gloves are off now, buddy boy. I messed up. You're through. Over here. Eat this. I'll kill you. Oh, don't you hate that? Very upset by this. You mean to tell me he, he blocked that shit? Ain't no way. You're through. It again. Hey, little guy, you gotta attack with a little more oomph to him, because if not, you are so dead. Giant freak! Time to die now! Nice. I'm the strongest fighter in the got you! Me too! What is that? Fighting! Bummer! I'll kill you! Oh, he missed. I didn't miss. Wait, did I? I, I, I did miss! I entered that shit and took all that damage. He, I'm, about to, I'm about to lose a raccoon, bro. Who's ass? You're through! his big ass blast that did damage to me. I thought I could just go all in there and go crazy. It didn't go how I thought it was gonna go.
Kakum overwhelms Vegeta with his strength, leaving Vegeta to struggle. But at that moment, Goku, who arrives on planet Namek, joins in, and together they easily defeat Raccoon. Vegeta and the others use the Senzu beans brought by Goku and ready themselves for the fight against the Ginyu. Vegeta leaves the field of battle and begins looking for the Dragon Ball stolen by Captain Ginyu. It is now that Vegeta notices Gohan and the others have used the Dragon Radar to find the Dragon Balls first. He intends to summon Pur Purunga, deal with his two enemies, then have his wish. I remember that, but then Captain Ginyu has switched bodies with Goku, arrives with Jace to attack Gohan and Krillin. Hey! Eyes up! You're dealing with me now! Don't kid yourself! What makes you think you can take me now, Vegeta? Your weak-ass accent. Because with each battle, I'm getting closer and closer to becoming a Super Saiyan! Oh, come off it with your fairy tales! After defeating Jace, Vegeta closes in on Captain Ginyu. Captain Ginyu attempts to switch bodies with Vegeta, but Goku dies between the two fighters reclaiming his own body. The wounded Goku begins to recover his strength in preparation for fighting Frieza, while Vegeta takes the opportunity to rest. However, Gohan and the others take advantage of the lull to summon Purunga. Purunga! But <laughs> suddenly Guru dies. Purunga disappears and the Dragon Balls turn to stone. Now Frieza, who has been traveling toward Purunga's Column of Light, makes an appearance. I really must hand it to you. In all my years, I've never been so angry as I am now. Now you'll pay! You vile, filth-sucking maggots will rue the day you cross my path! Prepare yourselves to embrace oblivion! Frieza's serious. You mad, brothers? Go on, then. Do your worst. But if you think this is going to be easy, then you're dead wrong. You haven't a clue. I'm becoming a thing you fear most, the legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> Do you really expect me to take such desperate boasts at face value? I've heard enough of your pathetic lies! After withstanding Frieza's attacks, Vegeta taunts him, telling him to transform. Frieza responds, but the difference in their power level is too great. It is now that Piccolo appears. He has fused with a Namekian nail and obtained incredible power. Piccolo and Frieza are locked in a dead heat, but Frieza still has two more transformations up his sleeve. Frieza has transformed once again, and Piccolo and Gohan stand to fight him. Frieza, however, says he will let them bear witness to one last transformation. While Frieza is transforming, Vegeta attempts to use his Saiyan special ability to come back from the brink of death even stronger. After Vegeta's order, what'd I say? Krillin lands a life-threatening blow on him, now leaving his fate to Dende, the Namekian with healing power. Dende refuses at first to heal Vegeta, citing all the Namekians he's killed. Gohan, however, begs Dende, leaving him no choice. Now get ready! And so, Vegeta rises from the brink of death to once more face Frieza, who has finally shown himself. You little wretch! Consider yourself lucky I didn't incinerate you! Uh, 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 <laughs> the rest of you stay back! Just keep your eyes peeled and enjoy the show! Someone's full of confidence, you poor fool. The helplessness of your situation has made you delusional. I doubt you'll be so smug once you realize what you're up against. What stands before you now is the thing you fear most. I am a Super Saiyan. There won't be a shred of you left when Kakarot wakes up. Bang. I gotta deal with Frieza here. I am. Never easy. Never easy in these games. Always a bitch. I'm gonna have to worry about 
the boos later. Majin Boo. I remember the Majin Boo hands on Xenoverse. You're through. Kill you. Let's wrap Yeah. I sold it. You see, I'm able to survive in the vacuum of space. But can you? That's a big it. Yeah, I just spit everywhere. With this planet. Go ahead and restart that fight. We got, we got off to a bad start. You me. That damn. We'll get the rest. How did you win? Yo, I don't know what that move is. That's just ridiculous. You see, I'm able to survive in the vacuum of space. But can you? Now perish along with this planet. <laughs> see how much goddamn damage I done. That was crazy. Hold on, what's it? Oh, we just gotta survive. We're not expected to actually win. And I can't even. God damn it! Got you. I think I'll toy with you a bit. Oh my god, bro! Why don't we finish with the rehearsal and? He's cheating. This motherfucker, bro. I think I'll toy with you a bit. Jesus. Garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I can't do shit. I'm gonna be honest. Garlic gun! You're through! Like that shit? Fine. You like that shit? Now how long you stay stunned? So sorry to dash all your hopes and dreams, Vegeta. But for all your efforts, you never even came close to being on my level. All right, well, we, we survived. Holy shit. You aren't gonna wanna hold anything back, Frieza. Not against this one. You see, he is what you fear more than anything else in the universe. You're dealing with the real Super Saiyan. Huh. 
Oh, Vegeta, you forget. I don't enjoy jokes, and you've never been very funny. You murderer! He couldn't even defend himself! Kakarot, I need you to know what happened to planet Vegeta, where we were born. It's gone. Not because it collided with a giant meteor. It, it was Frieza who did it. We served him blindly for years, and he disposed of our entire race, wiped us from existence. I'm, I'm begging you, please, beat him. For me, for the pride of our race, you must defeat him, please. He must die by a Saiyan's hand. Chapter clear. Jeez. All right, we're here. Android cell arc. While Vegeta lies defeated, Goku reaches a Super Saiyan form and finally defeats Frieza. With this, the epic battle of, on planet Namek comes to a close. Back on Earth, those uh, slang... Yo, these braces is killing me, bro. It's usually... It was bad when I first got them, but these ones... I'm, and I'm only halfway done. I'm 10 out of 20, bro. This shit is killing me. Slain by Frieza Force or resurrected using the Dragon Ball. Vegeta 2 is revived by the Dragon Balls and begins living at Bulma's house in West City. Just as Goku returns to Earth, a young man arrives from the future. He delivers a message that in three years, androids will appear and most of the population will be killed. To ensure his survival, Vegeta de uh, dedicates himself to training. Time passes and just as the man has said, two androids appear, androids 19 and 20. Goku collapses from a heart virus during the attack, but Vegeta comes to the rescue. With my anger at its peak, it happened. Finally, I have become a Super Saiyan. The awakened Vegeta takes the fight to the android. You say you androids don't Ain't even there. He just, they just threw us right in. Lucky. <laughs> Yeah, these are the butt ones. Do not bother, it is futile. I have become the prince of all Saiyans. What the? I'm gonna do not bother. Yo. I ain't read the battle details. Hopefully, it was just plain. Have you seen how much damage that That shit was nuts. It was not. It's. It was, This guy, I hate you. Cursed robot! He escaped away faster than I thought! 
After witnessing Vegeta destroy 19, Android 20 flees. It then comes to light that 20 was Dr. Jero. Is it Jero? All along. If it ain't, fuck it. Vegeta pursues Dr. Jero as he heads towards his laboratory, but... Dr. Jero seals his own fate when he awakens Android 7 and 18. 17 and 18. As soon as they come online, they put a swift into their creator. They then proceed to boot up Android 16, another model. Now, team of three, the androids depart for a place where Vegeta and the others won't find them. Vegeta catches up with the androids and lands before them. Well, well, not the sort of place I expected to find you three, but it'll have to do. Your leaving all of a sudden got me curious, I'll admit. Where is your destination? Goku's house, wherever it is, to kill him. Just as I thought. But you're never going to get there. Because I, Vegeta, shall crush you here and now. Hey guys, Vegeta seems to be pretty cocky, doesn't he? It must be a Saiyan thing. They always talk such a big talk, and then they end up dying so fast. It's a shame. You shut your mouth, you disrespectful toy! I'll rip all three of you to pieces. Who's first? Let's play. Just you and me. Damn. I forgot, man. She, she be putting hands on me. Eat this. Eat this. What the fuck, bruh? Regret this. You want to keep going? Oh. Yeah. Quit running. Yo, no. Damn puppet. I can't even tell if she's taking any damage or not. You've got it, Teddy. Nice try. Man, her counters is nuts. You've got it, Teddy. Eat this. Come on, charge up. Let me do it. Nice try. I'm not done yet. Did I lose? She whooped my ass. It's a scripted though. Please. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Even in Super Saiyan form, Vegeta has lost to the androids and cannot hide his frustration. He then enters the hyperbolic time chamber with Trunks, having been told that he can use it to get several years worth of training in far less time. When they finish training in the chamber, Vegeta and Trunks leave to battle Cell. Even after Cell has absorbed 17 and grown stronger, Vegeta smiles with the certainty that his own training makes him superior. Now, watch closely, Cell, because I'm about to wipe that disgusting smirk off that face of yours! Ah! You, you're not Vegeta. You're not. You've changed. You've become something else. That's right. I... I'm Super Vegeta! Let him know. Yeah. 
When do I get my explosive wave? No. Don't even bother. <laughs> Man, that's some bullshit. Yo, let me get it, dude. Let me do something. You're going down. Take this. Yo. Why can't I do it? Yo! I'm losing bad boys. Hey, hold on. What's the details on this, brother? Reduce sales and trunk fill? The power. How you change characters? I don't remember how to do that shit. Take this! I, I, yeah, I would have forgot how to switch characters. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh my god, yo, restart. That was a thorough ass whooping of, of just. He wasn't even trying. He wasn't even. I'm getting styled on, bro. This is the end for you. What's going on? Yo, what the hell? What? Yo, this shit glitched out crazy. I think he was in the. Bro, what is going on with this game, man? So close. A few more moments, and I would have achieved my perfect form. Now hold on. Do you actually believe this perfect form of yours can make the slightest bit of difference against me? I, I, I know it would. I would have the ultimate power. You wouldn't even stand a chance against me. All right then. I'll allow myself to be goaded into your trap. Go on. Obtain your so-called perfect form. Father, no! Why do, why do we? I know. What the? Stand aside, boy. Oh man. Trunks, get out the way, man. Take this! Damn, son. Shit. Eat this. Super Vegeta. Let me show you. Sorry. Too slow. Sorry, brother. Hey! You've been spotted! Run for it now! You're making a mistake, Father. We can't let Cell reach his perfect form. I've already seen one future ruined. I'm not gonna stand here and watch it happen again. I'm putting an end to this. 
even if that means I have to go through you. Is that so? <laughs> Who are you trying to fool? You're too soft-hearted to attack your own father. <clears throat> So, he actually did it! <laughs> Cell really is transforming. Now we'll see if this perfect form of his is everything he made it out to be. <laughs> so this is what you wanted to achieve so desperately? Perfectly ordinary is more like it. Did swatting that little pest make you feel all big and strong? I hope so, because that was the last taste of victory you're ever going to enjoy. I suppose we'll see about that. But for now, I wonder if you would be so good as to assist me in warming up. Sure. Just know I'll be turning up the heat rather quickly. I'm terrified. You trolling me? You fool! Eat this! Too slow! Okay, what's the what's the I got defeated with a final flash. Never get it. Oh, come on. Don't be a hater all your life, baby. Let me let me do my shit. Oh. Super Vegeta! Let me show you. Too slow. No, no, wrong move. Dodge all them bitches. Damn, I'm about to lose this. Huh? Forget it. Oh my god, god. The way this is going, I have no other choice but to use my final flash. Cell! You have mocked me for the last time! Do you truly believe your power is far superior to mine? All right, hold on. Let me. How do I get final flash? Hit after a hit. Okay. This didn't pop up yet. Me into a corner. But I probably have to hit. His health probably has to be lower. Barrier. Here. If you have the guts to put it to the test, let's. I'm gonna run that shit back, boy. Damn. Ew, bitch. You it. Forget it. Got you. You Stop being here, let me do it. 
This is the end for you! He's in the ground again. Is he glitched out or is he actually in the water? That answers my question. Here we go. Take this! Block, 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 block. I have no other choice but to use my final flash. Cell! You have mocked me for the last time! Do you truly believe your power is far superior to mine? Here! If you have the guts to put it to the test, let's see if you're strong enough to withstand this! All right. I gotta do the final, the final shit. I gotta do it now. These people don't quit calling my phone every goddamn five seconds. I am Super Vegeta! Let's see if you can withstand this! Please don't miss. I know Okay. I don't know where bro went, but... This is the end for you! I forgot how to, uh... Let's see if you can withstand this! Final Blast! Alright, we got him. <clears throat> well, that certainly left a mark, didn't it? Serves you right. Even Super Vegeta's final flash is not enough to defeat Cell. Soon, Vegeta collapses under Cell's furious attacks. Trunks attempts to come to the unconscious Vegeta's aid, but he is defeated by Cell without managing to land a single blow. Damn, bro. Cell then prepares the Cell Games battlefield and leaves the scene. During the Cell Games, Goku dies protecting the Earth from Cell's self-destruct. However, his son Gohan emerges victorious against the monster. Seeing his rival perish, Vegeta loses his purpose for fighting. However, on the day Trunks leaves to return to the future, Vegeta shows up to bid his son an awkward farewell. End of the art. We'll come back for chapter three in Vegeta Saga. Mahalo, shout boys. Next time, thumbs up for the bitches. Bye.